I've been in the school <clears throat> just ab about every two weeks for the last nine and a half years since I've been in the Senate. And um, mainly high schools. Right. And I think, here's what I've discovered. It's not true, and you know this, but it's, it is not at all true that young people don't have a sense of community or a sense of justice. In fact, probably more young people at the high school and college age are involved in community service than they were maybe when I was in North sure. Carolina. Sure, sure. Okay, mentors, tutors, sure. uh, working in battered women's shelters, legal service clinics, community health care clinics, you name it. Uh, child care, working with senior citizens. The problem is that a lot of young people today view community service, and for that matter, their parents as well, view community service as good, and they view political service as bad. They view community service good, political activism is disreputable and unsavory. Follow me? Mm -hmm. And what I say is we need you to do all this volunteer work, but we also need women and men who are willing to fight for good public policy to really make the major institutional change that will really give everybody opportunities. And I actually, I have, it breaks my heart. I'm not trying to put aside some of the tough problems, but it breaks my heart that there isn't more of an emphasis on, on the positive uh, of, of a lot of young people that I see. Unbelievable talent, yeah. unbelievable heart and right. soul. And I'm, you know, I consider it, for me, it's real important as a senator to, to continue to call on young people to be their own best selves and, and to say, look, you, you all, the future is not going to belong to people who are content with the present, and it's not going to belong to cynics and men and women who stand on the sidelines. It's going to belong to people who have passion or are willing to, f to work hard for what they believe in, and it's going to belong to you. Mm -hmm. Do You know, I, I don't like to blame media or any segment <coughs> of, of, of society, but for some reason, it just seems that there's a feeling that people enjoy reading negative things oh yeah instead of um the positive things uh, even when when you look at um um a student athletes uh student athletes get more credit uh, more acknowledgement um if they score five touchdowns in a game than they do if they get a 4.0 that's right uh in in grades and somehow um, and, and I think the uh, Minnesota State High School League is trying to do some of this in, in that uh, they're encouraging schools to award letters yeah. for academics. Oh, yeah. And uh, they're having contests in yeah. arts and sciences and things like that yeah. now. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, two, two answers to what you just said. One is, um, <coughs> unfortunately, I'm going to agree with you. I'd rather disagree. I mean, I... I uh, I do think, I mean, I, I remember speaking at the first academic banquet that Apple Valley High School had. You know, there's a school that's gung-ho in athletics. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, they, they're oh, as yeah. tough as any school. But they, I was really glad to come to this gathering because this was a gathering where they were all of us, they were beginning to acknowledge students who've done well academically. And, right. and I don't think there's, an, I think we need to do both. Um, and there's not enough emphasis on young people who are doing well in school. But I'm not even talking so much about academics. I'm talking about a lot of the other good work that they do. And sometimes it breaks my heart. I, I have been in gatherings and, you know, to use an expression when I was a kid, cross my heart and hope to die. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have cared if the TV camera or whoever was writing the story had never shown my picture or said a word about me. I wouldn't have. But, f uh, for example, I'm here, Sheila's not with me, or Molly Wilson, who works with me dealing with issues that affect violence in homes mm -hmm. and you know which by the way then spills out into our schools and sure. into our communities. Of course it does. We had a group of high school students who came together in Minneapolis and they did some of the most powerful artwork you'd ever want to see. Okay we brought the display to DC and but I couldn't believe when these kids had done this marvelous work I just assumed and they were being congratulated by Harriet Tubman Center and others for their work. I thought yeah. Somebody would come to cover it. Yeah. It was positive. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody came. Yeah. Nobody came, you know? Right. You watch the 10 o'clock news. I mean, almost all of it's just on the violence. That's, a, that's, a, I know. that's hardly anything else there I anymore. Know. I it's, know. it's very discouraging. It is. It is. I, I'm, I'm trying. I, I wish I knew as much about children being born to wonderful young couples.
yeah. as I knew about those who get killed violently. Oh yeah. I just I, I just don't. There's an, another thing. It's I not that you don't want. It's not that we want to ignore it. But no, right. You know, when I see a teacher at the St. Paul alternative at the Learning Center and yeah. and and uh, you know a Georgia Duncan and. I see her putting her hand on that yep. student's shoulder, and I, I yep. can out lip read, and I know what she's saying. Don't you? I won't give up on you, and don't you give up on and yourself. yourself. And right. I see a principal that's got 450 volunteers in his school, or I go to Jackson Elementary School, mm -hmm. and I see these teachers dealing with kids who speak five, six, seven languages right. in homes, their homes and fourth and fifth graders kind of igniting a spark in these kids. Right. Um, and I can give a million, and I, and I see kids out in Monticello doing really great community service work, and I could go on and on and on. Sure. I, I want to see that acknowledged. Yes, yes. We exactly. need to see that acknowledged exactly. for a couple of reasons. Number one, there's so much good going on with young people That's we need right. to know about. Number two, and I say this all the time to people in public education, hey, I'm willing to deal with the challenges and the problems, and I don't want to let any of us cop out and say we can't do better, but you know what? There's a whole lot of really good work that's going on too right. in the schools. I want to see that acknowledged exactly. as well. Exactly. Especially since some of the harshest critics of the public school teachers couldn't last an hour in the classrooms they condemned. Exactly. No, they couldn't. That's for sure. They couldn't. That's They're never sure. there. They never visit. They don't know anything. That's for sure. But they bash away. Yep. That's right.